right, we're going live with the kiln finally after a couple of years of not doing anything on it. It's wired up with the controller doing PID. I've got the thing idling here at about 100C. I've got a few test pieces I'm going to do. Uh, let's take a look uh, and see if we can see inside and see the flames at all. technical pieces, a couple bowls so I can do some calcining. Alright, so let's take a look here at the, the controller. At 103C. There's some waveforms that just kind of show the gas controller in action. There's the gas controller. That's going to be proportional flow according driven by the temperature controller. Right now we're at 17%. 10% is actually zero, so we're about 7% up the uh, possible amount of flow we can do here. Okay, we're going to give this thing a start and then I'll come back later and show it in action. Alright, this is the JLD 634 temperature controller. Right now it is in uh, manually controlling the set point. What we're going to do here is we're going to switch over to step uh, step by step mode, which I've already have a bisque cycle programmed in this thing. So we'll put in the password. 89. And switch to the mode. Set. There we go. Stepwise uh, set point. We'll get out of here. And then to kick off the program, actually I already had it kicked off, so it's it's starting right now. It's at set points 23 and it's moving its way up the ramp. So we'll just let this go now and let the gas controller do its thing. Well, actually, look, we're at the minimum output, which is, I set it for 10, so it's a 9.9, which is the minimum amount the controller, gas controller will run at. And so, we'll just let this thing run, and I'll keep an update every once in a while on how this is working. Okay. All right, checking back in here, just going to give a quick update. Um, we are now at 259 degrees C. The gas valve is at 17, so it's not cracking open too far. I mean, it won't because this kiln can hit 2550, so it's just barely putting along here. Uh, let's just explain a little bit of how this is set up. We have a, a power supply right here, and that's actually powering up this gas controller, which has a couple probes hooked to it. I just want to verify it because this is the very first time it's it's been running for real, quote, for real. You see the pressure is a, hard to see here, but it's about half, half a PSI. This is a modulating controller, and so if we look on the oscilloscope here, that waveform near the that triangle waveform is just the pulse frequency of the controller, but the guy right in the center, that sinusoid, that's actually the gas pressure. And so the controller modulates, puts a, a bit of modulation on the on the pressure, and that enables me to go down to some very very low pressures in a very wide range of control. We can go from 200, uh, 100 C all the way up to uh, 2550, which is near 1400 C. So that's just chugging along. No big deals here. The kiln seems to be working okay with the exception of one of the burners is acting up a little bit here just keep an eye on it but so far progress is good alright well, let's check in again here we've just started ramping up after the quartz inversion temperature I paused for about half an hour there just to make sure I didn't break anything you can see we're at 603 and the temperature controller is now at 20 almost 22 percent so it's 
up from 17 to 22. Again, here we go, that green or depends on green color there. It's up just a little bit. You can see it moving. I did rescale that purple guy so he isn't in the way so much, but everything's still working great. Um, take a look here at the pressure gauge. It may not be possible to see the uh, needle fluctuating the modulation. You won't see it, but you can see that even at 600 degrees, there's just barely a tiny amount of propane flowing here. Okay, just wanted to show you the temperature profile I'm using. It's a very fast profile. You can see down here, this is 7,000 seconds, so the whole thing is only going to take two, a little less than two hours to get to the peak. All the materials I'm using are very uh, durable materials, very thermal shock proof, so I'm just going to do a fast ramp. We are now about here on the profile, so a little bit, of, about halfway done. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to tell you, or show you here, was just how ridiculously quiet this thing is. You may not even think it was uh, going. I had some people stop by and they didn't even know it was on. But just to prove that it is actually running, I'll stick this piece of paper over the, over the uh, vent there. Definitely uh, putting out some heat. Well, we're now up to 829. Got some pictures here of the thing. It's glowing a nice red-orange color in there. You can see one of the pieces down in there. Get a shot of it. Now that you can actually see some color in there. I just checked with the oxygen probe here and we are running about 1.4 lambda, so I'll just leave my airflow alone until the rest of the cycle. So we're it's looking good, everything's working fine. Alright, here we are. We are almost at bisque temperatures at the end of the cycle. We're at 1070 right now. Everything's looking good. Well, here it is, the next morning. Looks like everything turned out just fine. Thanks for watching.